Hi Aries, this is your January 2021 love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, so I just want to say before we get started, Happy New Year's to everyone. I hope your New Year's is starting off right the way you want it to. And let's get into your message cards, Aries. Okay, so the first message card that we have is Divine Timing. We have Unstable and Distractions. Okay, so let's stop here for a second. So I feel like there could be a distraction in your love life right now. Um, you may feel like this person that you're dealing with, they're bringing some unstable energy in. But I'm picking up the energy that divine timing is on top of everything. So if you're waiting for something to change, or if you're waiting for someone to show you something different or to come in your life, to come into your life the way you want them to, I feel like it's a timing factor here. Um, the universe may be putting a halt to this situation because the timing is not right. Okay, so someone could learn some lessons along the way and then come towards you and things um, will start turning in your favor. So let's see what's on this bottom row. All right, yeah, because we have patience. We have not over. So the universe wants you to know that something that you guys are going through with someone is not over. You may be thinking that it is. Um, maybe you guys could have had an argument or you're just not seeing eye to eye in a situation and you may not know where you stand. You may not know what this person's intentions are. And then we have new beginning, okay? So for some of you, this could be a totally new person coming into your life, or this could be a new beginning with someone from your past. Because keep in mind, divine timing does have a say-so in this connection, okay? So let's jump into your reading, Aries, and let's see what else the universe has to say about your love and relationship. Got ashes everywhere. Okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for their January 2021 love and relationship reading? Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? Yeah. See, you're going to be healing from something. Oh, some of you guys are healing from heartbreak. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have for Aries? Oh. Okay, that flew all the way across the table. Yeah, some of you guys went through something with someone, okay? Because we have the five of wands here. We have the four of swords and we have the three of swords. So with this five of wands, some of you could be dealing with another fire sign, such as yourself and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have swords here, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some of you guys are going to be healing from a situation, okay? But you know what I'm also seeing here, Aries? Someone did you wrong and they're thinking about it. They are thinking about what they want out of this connection, who to go towards. Because with this Four of Swords, if you look at this card, there's three swords above this person and there's one sword below them. So I feel like they are aware that you always have their back. You're always there for them. But there could be a third party situation that's trying to come in the middle of you and your person's connection. Now, this could be someone that um, that's a friend to you. This could be a family member or this could be your partner, okay? But I feel like with the Three of Swords, there is heartbreak, pain, sadness, and depression over something someone said or something someone did, okay? Also, you may feel like you have to fight for someone's attention or you're tired of... Um, being in the midst of other people that is fighting for your person's attention. Maybe you know that your person has someone else and you feel like, you know, there's like a battle for you or for them to be with someone else. There's something here with like many people in a, a situation. It doesn't have to be many. It could just be another person. But there's something here with this five of wands where there is a conflict that doesn't sit well with you. And it could very well have to do with the third party. Okay. what messages do you have for Aries? What messages do you have for Aries? What do they partner? Okay, let's ask, what does your partner want you to know? Oh, that came right out of the deck. Okay, so the Four of Cups. So your partner may be playing hard to get. 
but they feel like they're going to have a missed opportunity with you if they don't get something right or um, work on this connection with you. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, where I feel like you're trying to offer a cup to your person and they could be ignoring you for someone else. This whole deck just was about to slide out of my hands. Okay, let's see. Spirit, what message is up? Oh, something wanted to flip out. Okay, the Knight of Wands. So someone is extremely flighty. I feel like this person wants you. But um, I don't know. I don't, sometimes I don't like this energy depending on the cards that are surrounding it or the card that comes out before it or after it. So let's just see what else comes out after it because this is a Sagittarius energy. So some of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or you could be dealing with someone who's extremely flighty. It's like one minute they've come towards you, but they, they don't stay long. Okay, so it's like they're they're sort of in and out. Spare what messages up? Okay, the sun. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. If not, I feel like this person sees you as their happiness, but someone may be coming in the way of that. Um, they could be being tempted by someone else, and they may not be able to say no to this person. Maybe it's someone from their past, and you could be waiting for them to shut this person down or let this person go. Spare what messages up? Okay. Yeah. All right. So I feel like with the five of pentacles, the ace of swords reverse and the ten of swords, for some of you, there was an ending here. Okay. With this ten of swords and with this five of pentacles, some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. With this ace of swords in reverse, you feel like this person left you out in the cold. Okay. For, so for some of you, you're not getting along with this person right now. You may have uh, broken up with them with the Ten of Swords because this is a painful ending. Someone betrayed you, stabbed you in the back. Um, you could have done a lot for this person or you were just there for them. And I feel like for some of you, you could be walking away from this or thinking that it's over when it's really not. Because keep in mind, you did have the message card of something not being stable. There's a distraction in the connection between you and someone else but it's not over so you could be thinking that the situation is over but it's really not here even though there was an ending for some of you spirit what messages do you have for aries what messages do you have for aries what do they need to know about their partner and, oh, okay yeah, someone is very unstable. Here we are again with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or this person could have Earth in their chart, and they're just coming in towards you. Um, they're not grounded, okay? They don't know what they want. This person may not be very nurturing towards you right now. So what messages do you have for Aries? So let's just see how this is going to play out. Oh. Someone is being manipulative. Someone wants to win at all costs. I feel like this person does care about you. They do love you, but it's like they don't they don't want to show it. Somebody doesn't want to be vulnerable here. They don't want to put their feelings on the line. Somebody's pride and ego is like it's most important to them when it comes to like how they handle love and relationships. Yeah, we have the six of swords. So either you moved away from someone or someone moved away from you. Now this is not you feeling this way. Oh, here we are. Okay, it's a turning point. Remember what I said? There's going to be a new beginning. We have divine timing at play here. Okay, the will of fortune is proving that. That um, I feel like whatever's happening here, it's not under your control or it's not under your partner's control either. Divine timing is going to step into this situation. And I feel like there's going to be a new beginning for you and your person or there's going to be a, a new person coming in. So we'll see. But something's going to change. The wheel is going to start to turn in the correct direction. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries? Why is my card so, like, stiff? Somebody is extremely stubborn. They don't want to talk about something. I feel like this person missed you. They love you, but they don't want to say it. Then this card just flipped all the way on the floor. Yep. Exactly. Two major arcanas here. The full... And the justice card. So this could be your energy Aries, or you could be dealing with another Aries here. We also have justice, the Libra card. So some of you could be dealing with the Libra. If not, you're going to get justice in this situation. It's going to pan out uh, balanced, fair, and honest. But I feel like it's going to be because something is destined to be. Okay? Something, um, there's fate that's coming 
into this situation with these three major arcanas and the divine timing something is meant to be for some of you and it's going to happen it doesn't matter who tries to come in between you guys okay this person is not going to be able to uh break this connection apart like they, somebody could be trying to come in between you and your person and i feel like you know who this is for some of you we have the king of pentacles here earth sign verbal twice capricorn oh, these cards are flipping all over the place now there's a lot of earth in this reading so some of you are definitely dealing with earth signs verbal twice capricorn but someone is coming back to compromise with you they want to make it work with this three of pentacles and like i said if someone is trying to come in between you guys it's not gonna work goodness things are flying out of the deck it's like your partner somebody wants to talk to you aries but they're not budging we have the death card here this person know they have to make changes in order to be in your life some of you could be dealing with a scorpio they're willing to let something die out so that something new can come in but i feel like they're taking their time doing it and i'm also picking up the energy that this person could be waiting for you to call them or to reach out to them but if you don't they're going to reach out to you they're not going to have a choice because somebody that you're dealing with, they're not going to be able to stay away from you. Not with the divine timing and the new beginning, the will of fortune, the justice card. This person's not going to be up. What did I just say? Oh my goodness. Why well, tell y'all these cards are flying all over the place? <laughs> they're on the floor and everything. So we have the page of wands here and we have the four of wands. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with your twin flame, 1111 with the um four of wands and then we have the page of wands someone is coming in to talk to you some of you could be dealing with another fire sign aries leo sagittarius this person could be younger than you with the page of wands or maybe they're just extremely immature this person sees what you want they know that the only way that they can be with you is to get their shit together so i feel like somebody is either going to be working on that yeah we have the hierophant Okay, Taurus energy. So some of you could be dealing with the Taurus. If not, this person, somebody is coming back for uh, a commitment. And remember, we do have new beginning here with divine timing, with the will of fortune. So there's going to be a turning point for some of you where this person comes back and they're going to want a commitment. Because I feel like because you're not reaching out to this person or because you're not letting them win. Because, you know, we did see the five of swords and that's all about someone wanting to win. But I feel like because you're not allowing this person to have their way, this is what they're coming back to, um, to you know, to give you. This is what they're going to want. The Six of Pentacles and the Temperance. The so Temperance is Sagittarius energy. It's also about a balance and patience. And remember, got patience right here. So the universe is saying, be patient with this situation. I feel like you guys don't think that this is going to turn out in your favor. Or maybe you're giving up on something because the cards that came out in the beginning of you guys reading was kind of dark but i see light now at the end of this reading to where so things are going to work out you may feel like somebody has a lot of secrets if so this person is extremely passionate about you and they're up in their head they may be trying to act like they don't want this connection but they do don't let this person fool you whoever you guys are dealing with they could be detached cold and distant but i feel like this is how this person normally deals with love but i feel like you're going to be teaching them a lesson like listen you can't deal with love like that if you're dealing with me <laughs> it's like you got to deal with it the right way or we can't deal at all and i feel like some of you are teaching this person this and you don't even know it because you're tired of um, going towards them or you're tired of being the one to try to make something work. Oh, what was that? Yeah, see, the Ten of Wands. You're burdened. You're tired. This is either you or your person. If this is not you feeling this way, Aries, um, then this could be your person if they're cross-watching. So flip and reverse the roles as need be, okay? But um, somebody, it's like you're too burdened by, by this situation. And I feel like you're going to be looking at your life and um some of you are extremely abundant too i don't know why i'm picking it up and i feel like someone could see how you're moving and how you're looking at life and what you're wanting out of life and it's like they know that they can't come towards you any other way except the right way and i feel like they're going to be realizing this so you may be dealing with someone who is extremely manipulative prideful and egotistical like a bit narcissistic even and then you show this person like that's not going to work with me oh yeah wow i'm telling you you can't make this shit up all right so you have the five of cups 
the page of swords the eight of pentacles and you have the knight of swords if this is not somebody coming back in to get their shit together i don't know what it is because they're looking at you they're still watching you so if you're not with this person right now they have not forgotten about you they definitely have not forgotten about this connection they're just trying to figure out their next move because this person is thinking about coming in okay charging in to say something also keep in mind that this person that you're dealing with aries they may come back in trying to place the blame keep your cool okay but also stand your ground and let this person know, like, no, nah, mm -mm, you did what you did. That's why I reacted the way I reacted, <laughs> okay? This is not about me. This is about you or whoever was wrong here. So if it wasn't you um, feeling this way and if it was your partner cross-watching, then, you know, you may be coming back in towards your partner to um, sort of talk something through because I feel like whoever was at wrong here, they still want this with this eight of pentacles they're wondering if you still want it see how this person is still looking back it's like they have some regrets here so whatever happened between you and this person they're actually regretting it but i feel like they're not talking yet but they will they're not going to be able to not talk to you and the reason why i know this for a fact because let's see where's that page of wands that showed up here uh here it is so you have the knight of swords and you have the page of wands this is communication. Somebody is going to come in and communicate with you. They may be trying to be stubborn now and hold themselves back, you know, trying to see what you're going to do. But if you don't make a move towards this person, they're going to make a move towards you. Okay? So keep that in mind because they want this to work. And they're going to put in the work. Okay? Now, it may not be easy. I'm not saying like this person is going to come back in and everything is going to be great as soon as they come in. I feel like you guys are going to have some words with this person. Okay, but you don't, it doesn't have to get out of control is what I'm saying to you, because this person may come in with the attitude of like, they feel like you're already going to be on a thousand with them and you don't even have to be because they're coming back in. So I feel like them coming back in is letting, you know, it's sort of stating to you that they know they did something wrong and that they need to fix it. So it's like, you don't even have to get out of control with this person you don't even have to raise your voice or anything. Be like, oh, you're back. Oh, you're back to apologize. You know, say what you did wrong and make it right. Because otherwise, we can't have nothing, right? But I feel like you're going to stand your ground and let this person know, you know, that they need to make things right and they need to change their ways. Or, you know, it's you're not going to be able to deal with them the way they've been dealing. It's like their behavior, the way they've been dealing with things in the past. I feel like you guys are like, no, we're not doing that in 2021. We're not doing that no more. I feel like you guys are switching up on someone. And it's like they may have walked away from you thinking that you're going to be this same person when they come back in with this Knight of Swords and this Eight of Pentacles. But you're not. You're going to be totally different here. You're going to be letting this person know, like, you know, however you're coming back, I hope you're coming back the right way. Because if not, then we, we can't do anything here. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading, Aries. I just want to say thank you for supporting my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.